Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and the question is what is diamond problem in C++ and this question is generally asked for freshers interview okay so what do you mean by diamond problem here so if you see the class hierarchy here I am inheriting this A into this B and C both A is coming into B and C and these two B and C are inherited into this D so it is actually looking like this A is coming to B and C and both B and C are coming to D. So this is looking like a diamond. Okay, so that's why this is called diamond problem. And what is the problem in this? The problem is this A is coming two time in this D. If you inherit something, then accept that constructor and destructor things come from here to here. Okay, and two times A will be there and you are again inheriting B and C into D. That's why the copy of a will be two time in this D. Okay, so here is some example I have given. The A object will have its only A memory, but B as B is inheriting A also, then B will have this B uh, integer type, and A will also be there in that. Okay, so if you will print the size of B, it will print four plus four eight bytes. Okay, so if you see B's object memory layout will be A and B and C, C will be again A will be there in C and the C part will be there in that C again. Okay, and what will happen in D as you are inheriting B and C both then the both will come here. So what is this A and B? So this A and B will come and A and C will come. Okay, and this is the D part of that class. Okay, so if you see here there are two A in this. Okay, so there comes the ambiguity problem if you will try to access this A which A should be accessed either this A or this A and this is called dy uh, diamond problem okay so this diamond problem doesn't comes until unless you just touch that A I mean the ambiguity variable okay so we'll see that if you create this and you will compile it it won't create any problem now if you will use it then only it will create the problem so I will assign something to that. Now we'll compile that and it will say error request for member they a which is ambiguous. Okay, so this statement is creating problem. This statement, okay, not this statement. If you are not accessing this a which is coming from a which is causing the problem here, I mean the ambiguity problem, if you are using this d, then it is okay. So I can just show you that. In case of D, it's okay. In case of in case of B, it's okay. In case of C, it's okay. Okay. If I will do it like this and I will compile, it will successfully compile. So there is no problem in accessing B, C, and D because B is unique, C is unique, and D is also unique. The only problem is A. Okay. A is two times. That's why if we are accessing A here like this, it is creating problem. Okay. If this is A, it will compile. It will say the error. Okay, so how to solve this problem? The solution to this is you need to inherit this A virtually. So what is the syntax of that? Okay, this is the syntax to uh, inherit some class virtual. You will write this virtual in this case. And now if you will compile, it will compile successfully. So let's go ahead and check that. See, it compiled successfully and you are using A. Now try to understand what is happening here by, after writing this virtual in this case. Okay, so when if you are writing virtual in inheritance case and when the compiler will go and create the memory layout for this D, it won't create this A two time. Okay, because it knows that you are inheriting it virtually. So the A will come into D virtually. Okay, virtually means it won't be two time. It will be one time only. Okay. It will be separately there for B and C. Okay, so there won't be any changes here. It will be A only and this is also going to be A. But here it will remove either this A or this A. So that is the way to solve this problem. Okay, so that's it. This is diamond problem and this is the solution for that virtual inheritance. Okay, now you are accessing A and you are, it is working also. You can just simply check that. See, it compiled. So you can access this. If you would have not written this virtual, it won't allow you to access a here we will just compile and check that see the error is coming so now i'm done here thanks for watching and make sure you go and check out playlist for similar videos like this bye bye